and we're back with the second part. So in this one then we're going to finish off all of the exterior which includes placing the roof and also the back of the building. Now we are going to be starting off with the back of the building first so for this you just want to come around to the right hand side of the building where we're just going to place a window to start off with and for this we are just going to place one birchwood plank in the floor and then just four glass panes on top. After this, just placing up one more quartz row on the right, and then behind that diagonal, you just want to place an L shape with your birchwood planks. So as you can see in the image, then you're placing up three all in an L shape, and then again, just extending them all up so they're all at four blocks in height. Once you've done that, just come behind the left hand birchwood plank row, and here we're just going to place a window. Now for this, all we are just going to do is place up one row of stone, followed by a row of glass panes, and then one more row of stone after that. That's the bottom block placed, now to make them all four high. Then after this diagonal on the right, we're just going to place it two wider with our birchwood planks. So that's this little bit done. What I am going to do now though is actually repeat this little bit another two more times. So again, just placing your window with a birchwood section on the right of that. So if you do get lost to this bit, you can always refer to the image on screen now or just follow along with what I'm doing. And they go, well, that's that bit done. What we are going to do next though is place up one more row of stone. And then after that, we're just going to be placing a pattern up with our quartz. Now for this bit, it's not easy to explain it, so I suggest you just follow along on screen. But again, there is an image in the top right hand corner if you want to use that. What you want to do after you place all of the bottom row is just extend all of our quartz up another three years, same as we have with our stone. So now that we've placed all of this section, what we can come and do now though is actually place our doorway. Now for this then we're again going to start off similar to the front door where you just want to place two birchwood planks in the floor. But after this, before we do actually place our doors on top, we're just going to place it three rows of quartz on the right. Once you've done this, you can just connect across the top two rows above our doorway, and then you can just place your doors underneath. To finish off placing our doorway, you just need to come at one row in from the right, and here we're just going to place it four high with our birchwood planks, and then on the left of the top block, you can just extend it all the way across to the other bit. That is now our doorway added, but what you need to do next is come to the outside row, where we're just going to extend our quartz back another three more rows. <laughs> 
To finish off placing the lower half of the back wall now, what we are going to do is extend round our courts another 8, and then 3 more blocks behind the last block, and this should connect up to the wall. Uh, apart from that though, instead of actually extending all of these up 4 high, we are actually only going to extend them up 3 high this time, and in place of the 4th row, we're going to be placing our glass panes. Now, as I mentioned then, in place of the top row of courts, we are actually going to be placing our glass panes. So you can go ahead now and add that in. And there you go, uh, that's the bottom half of the back wall placed. What we need to do now, uh, same as what we did for the front, is actually divide up the two floors. Now for this again, uh, we're just going to be placing a quartz floor to divide them up. And for this, uh, you just want to begin uh, by coming to the right hand side, where we're just going to extend our quartz back another five blocks. And in front of the last block, you want to extend it back another 36 blocks. So this row should finish exactly in line up with the outside row of the building. Now you can just extend the outside block back again, but this time it just connecting it all the way to the wall. For this next bit is nice and easy as all you need to do is just fill in the space in the middle with your quartz. That's all of the floor filled in. What we're going to do to start off the back top section is just come to the right hand side, same as what we did underneath, where you just want to begin by placing an L shape with your birchwood planks. Now, for this, you just want to place three blocks out to begin with, and then behind the last block, another two. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and extend them all up at three more blocks. For this next bit, we're going to be placing our windows for the back wall, and for this, we're going to be placing uh, four windows in total, but for the first three, you want to do it in the pattern of two glass panes uh, followed by one row of birchwood planks, but for the last one, it's going to be slightly different, where again, uh, we're going to be placing uh, two wide of our glass panes, but for the birchwood planks, it's going to be three wide this time, so I'm going to go ahead now and actually place that in. That's the first three windows added, now just to add one more, and remembering instead of placing one row of birchwood planks, we're going to be placing three this time. So once you've done that, we're just going to place two more rows of courts, now for the front one it's going to be 4 high, and the back one you want to place it 5 high this time. And next we're just going to come diagonal to the last row we placed again, but this time you just want to place it 12 blocks out of your stone, and just making it too high as well. For 
The next thing we're going to be doing is just extending up the far left hand two rows, another three more blocks, so they should both be at five blocks in height. After this, just extend across the top row, same as you have for the bottom two. So the last thing we're actually going to do before we sleep is actually place our one section in the middle. Now as you can see from the image, what we're going to be doing is placing it all the way across but leaving a one block space on the right hand side and just making sure to place it one block behind where our stone is. After this, just continuing this design round to the right, so just using the same design, so two rows across the bottom and one row across the top, and then just your wood in the middle, but we are just going to extend it all back at five blocks, apart from our wood, which we're only going to extend back four, so it should all finish it exactly in the same place. The last thing we actually need to do to finish off the back wall is just to place a quartz wall on the right of this. Now we're just going to place it four blocks out of our quartz and this time we're just going to extend them all up four high. And there you go, that's all of the back wall placed. What we actually need to do now to finish off this part is just to place our roof. Now all you want to do to start this off is just come on top of the quartz row that we extended up 5 blocks. And from here we are actually going to be placing a rectangle on top which is going to be 14 by 8. Now I suggest you follow along for this bit and just make sure it lines up exactly as mine does. But again you are placing a rectangle on top which is 14 by 8. Once you've done that, just filling in this rectangle and then we can start on the main section of the roof. Okay, so once you have done that, you just want to come to the third block out away from our rectangle. And here, we're just going to extend a quartz row all the way around, so it finishes on top of the four high quartz pillar on the front of the building. Now for this, you just want to make sure to place it diagonal to the wall all the way around, but I'm going to go ahead now and add this in. Next, as you might have guessed it, you can just fill in the middle with your quartz again.
The last thing we actually need to do to finish off this part and all of the exterior is around the outside of our small rectangle we placed on top. You just want to place some quartz slabs. Now you just want to start in the same place I'm starting here and then should extend them all the way back so it finishes one block past where a rectangle is. So it is actually finished in the same place where the larger rectangle finished. And there you go, well, that's all of our exterior done. And that is actually the last thing we're going to be doing for this part. Uh, in the next part, what we're going to be hopefully doing is actually carrying on with the interior. And if we have time, it will also be starting on some of the decorations for the garden outside.